is ChatGPT going to be your new portfolio manager, your new investment analyst? Well, maybe let's take a look here. All right, so a little bit of context. You're familiar with ChatGPT, the general purpose large language model, I'm sure, but you may not be familiar with a feature that was launched a couple weeks back called ChatGPT plugins. This is essentially a marketplace for services to interact with ChatGPT. So as a user, you go into the ChatGPT interface, you're working with ChatGPT, and then when ChatGPT needs to, it'll call on these specific APIs or plugins to do particular tasks. This is still an alpha version, so it's still rolling out, it's still fairly new, and we have new plugins that are coming onto the marketplace every week. Now, one recent plugin caught my eye, it's called Portfolio Pilot, and it's a plugin that is supposed to help you identify securities, put together a portfolio of securities, and do some analysis on that portfolio, and get commentary and news on securities within that portfolio. So given that I'm a former investment management professional, I'm a former CFA charter holder, I had to check out this plugin and see where we are right now with the capabilities of ChatGPT to do potentially my job when I was in the investment management space. So with that, let's check it out. Let's first provide a little bit more context in terms of what we're looking at. Okay, so we all know ChatGPT. Now, there are some limitations that we have to deal with when we're working with ChatGPT, at least right now. One is that it has limited knowledge after 2021. The model, the data is, is, is such that it only goes up to 2021, so things that are a little bit newer may not be incorporated into the ChatGPT interface. Two is, by and large, most people do not have access to the internet. Internet browsing is something that is an alpha version right now for a lot of users, but many people don't have access to the internet via ChatGPT. The third limitation is that ChatGPT is a general purpose large language model. So that means that it's really good at many, many different things, but if you're looking for highly specific responses, it's probably going to lack a little bit of, of, of performance there. So one way that we're countering that is by leveraging plugins. So these are API services that ChatGPT can call in and do certain tasks. You have a couple of things like, for example, if you want to put together a particular recipe and you want to put together a shopping list for ingredients in that recipe, you can use Instacart. If you want to craft an email, you want to draft an email in ChatGPT and then have that email get automatically sent to, to someone, you can use Zapier and their plugins. If you have a very complex mathematical problem that you're working on, you can use a Wolfram Alpha compute engine here as 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 an API call within the chat GPT interface so very powerful framework and the this is this is a new store they're they're adding plugins to this all the time a plugin that was recently launched I think this just came out this week is called portfolio pilot your AI investment guide portfolio assessment recommendations and questions pertaining to finance inquiries. So this of course is something interesting to me. Here's what they have listed in terms of what this plugin is supposed to do. Help with ETF search, co compare different companies, import attributes of a, of a particular portfolio, do an assessment, do analytics, do some security analysis, do some stock research. So this is all very, very cool. So I wanted to test drive this and see how well this did with the particular inquiry that I would have been interested in when I was first starting my career in the investment management space. So let's head over to our ChatGPT Plus interface. First thing you have to note is that you need plugins alpha available for your instance. This is still an alpha version. Not a lot of people are gonna have access to this, so you may have to wait to do this. Then you can go into the plugin store and you can select the plugin that you want to use. I have Portfolio Pilot here, it's already installed. You're gonna have to install it on your instance. Okay, so now let me run you through a series of prompts that came to mind for me, for me to test drive the functionality of this particular plugin and how it plays with ChatGPT. So again, this is still all new. I don't expect it to be great, but I just wanna 
kick the tires and see what's possible what what is it, it at, what is it what is it good at now and maybe what can be improved and, and give some feedback to the folks over at the portfolio pilot project okay so first thing i ask is whether or not ChatGPT was familiar with the david swenson allocation model this is a famous portfolio allocation model it's pretty well known and yes it comes back and says yes i'm fairly familiar with this allocation it even gives me a nice little summary here then i asked it to put together a portfolio of etfs for this particular model and in particular i wanted 60 percent equities i think this was a tough prompt and so i wanted to see just really how far i can push this thing and it and, and ChatGPT activated the portfolio pilot plugin here and it went to work and it gave me these three ETFs, which look like they're almost like they're they're almost aimed at this real asset allocation, this hedge fund asset allocation, this private equity allocation. So that's interesting, especially this absolute value. This to me is almost like a hedge fund like type of asset allocation. But you know, I was hoping for the full portfolio and and covering all the different asset classes and it didn't really quite deliver on that so a bit of a miss there so then i i simplified the prompt a little bit more and i just said hey can you construct a low cost etf portfolio that has 40 percent total total us market e equities 20 percent global large cap equities and 20 percent investment grade bonds and 20 percent us treasuries and 10 percent gold just like a standard type of portfolio and ChatGPT activates the portfolio pilot plugin and then goes to work and comes back with some with an with this response so vti for us total market equities that makes sense and qlvd which is global non non us large cap equities which is also a good hit. Incidentally, this is totally by happenstance, but I help construct this suite of ETFs back in my investment management days, the FlexShares ETF uh, suite of ETFs. Go check them out, shameless plug there. So that's really neat that it, it recommended this fund that I help put together back in my finance days. That's very cool. But it didn't give me anything when it came to investment grade bonds and US treasuries and gold. So I think that's kind of interesting. So it's maybe if you know if I were to work on this prompt a little bit more, it would it would it would give me these I think these are pretty straightforward to find. I don't know what's complicated about it. So I just asked it to use mutual funds for investment grade US bonds, US treasury and gold and to complete the portfolio and it, it, it went and did that. So now we have um, this Vanguard mutual fund for investment grade bonds. We have this Vanguard mutual fund for US treasury. And then we have this fund for gold, 10%. I'm kind of unfamiliar with this fund, but all right, it seems to have have done what we wanted to in terms of constructing a portfolio for these five asset classes okay so now that i have my portfolio then now i, I wanted a summary of this so i asked the chat gpt to summarize this portfolio and give me some attributes on this portfolio and so it gave me the tickers the asset class the weight the expected return expected risk and market beta Okay, pretty interesting here. Expected return, expected risk, and market beta did not return that for the gold ETF. Again, if I were to have swapped that out for a gold ETF, I think I think I would have gotten something here. All right, so then I asked ChatGPT for the year to date and one year trailing return and risk for this particular portfolio. So what I wanted to see, I wanted to see year to date return one year trailing return and then also some standard deviation of the different underlying components in the in the portfolio i didn't quite get that and i also would have wanted a a summary a, a combined year to date return and a combined standard deviation of this particular portfolio given these weights and it didn't quite deliver that so a little bit of a miss there but it did provide a link to this nice image here that seems to be very that seems to be custom specifically to what I'm asking in this series of prompts. So that's cool. The ability to produce a table and then give you an image on that you know right now it's kind of crude but i can see this having a lot of potential because oftentimes as an investment analyst as an investment manager you're doing analysis you're creating tables but then you're also creating visuals to put in your decks and to send along to your your clients and to your investors so this feature of creating an image i think is pretty cool 
All right. So then the next prompt I said uh, I, I requested was to allocate five hundred thousand dollars to this particular portfolio evenly. It's I got to do the math, but it seems like it, it seems it's a three hundred four hundred. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that adds up to five hundred thousand. So it did that pretty well and it looks like it's corresponding to the particular weights US equities being the the largest portion of this 40% and gold being the smallest portion so that it seemed to have done that well and then the then the 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 last thing i think i prompted here was to to provide some market commentary on this particular portfolio for the month of April. And it gave me a lot of good highlights here in terms of, of news items that might be relevant to this portfolio. But given maybe given the fact that it's so broad that you know just any economic news would be relevant to this portfolio, I think it could have been a little bit more specific. So I, I would have wanted to have seen something to the effect of like, oh, like, in, you know, Fed continues to hike rates and that's either been good or bad for gold in this particular particular way but nothing to that effect again if i were to play around with the prompts a little bit more i'm sure i can get that but this is the output that we got the last thing that i asked for here was to create a chart for the portfolio return so i want to see in aggregate what is the return for this particular portfolio over a given period of time and here's the chart that it produced the fact that it's producing a chart that's really cool for my particular asset classes but again not not exactly what i was looking for this is the return for the last 30 days for each one of the constituents with this within this portfolio but not necessarily for the entire portfolio in its entirety so a little bit of a miss there very early on in this this paradigm of leveraging large language models for a use case like investment management and finance and this is an early take on what this could look like but it has some promise it has some potential i think this is going to get better over time and it's going to be really interesting to see how this is going to work out and how and, and what's going to be next year i'm going to continue to play around with this particular plugin there are some other large language model options and services for finance and investment management that have come across my radar so i'm going to check those out and i'll continue to keep you updated if you have any questions or any comments feel free to drop them in the comments section below thanks and have a good day